हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल केम फिलिक आई एम डॉक्टर माला दास शर्मा अ रिटायर्ड प्रोफेसर ऑफ सेंट पास 10th डिग्री एंड पीजी कॉलेज फॉर वुमेन हैदराबाद यूजिंग दिस प्लेटफॉर्म केम फिलिक आई एम गोइंग टू टीच डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ ऑल ब्रांचेस ऑफ केमिस्ट्री बाय एडॉप्टिंग अ सेल्फ डिजाइंड इनोवेटिव टीचिंग मेथोडोलॉजी दैट इज टीचिंग केमिस्ट्री थ्रू रिडल्स फॉर दिस वीडियो नंबर 7 an important topic from thermodynamics is chosen for discussion the primary objective of making this series of videos is to generate interest in chemistry among the students this video will be highly useful for the students who are pursuing undergraduate course with chemistry as a subject and also the students who are preparing for entrance examinations after their 12th standard or intermediate course hope students will enjoy here is our riddle number 7 i am related to a well known experiment where the gas is allowed to pass from high pressure to low pressure region under insulated condition based on my value the gas gets cooled or heated up when subjected to expansion by the above process at room temperature i am a characteristics property of every gas when the gas attains my value a characteristics parameter related to the principle of the above mentioned well known experiments becomes zero now let's see the questions the primary question is who am i the other questions are number 2 what is the well known experiment referred here number 3 under what conditions a gas gets cooled or heated up when expanded by the above process at room temperature number 4 Name the characteristics parameter that becomes zero when the gas attains my value. Now guess the answer of the primary question. The primary question is who am I? The answer is inversion temperature. This riddle is framed to explain. an important topic of thermodynamics that is joule thomson effect now what is joule thomson effect when a gas is allowed to pass from high pressure area to low pressure area adiabatically that means under the insulated condition then change in temperature is observed in the gas and this is known as joule thomson effect now let's see the joule thomson experiment in this experiment a hard glass tube is taken which is divided into two chambers by this porous plug now at left hand side chamber the pressure is p1 right hand side chamber pressure is p2 p1 is greater than p2 and the entire system is kept insulated now when the gas is compressed by passing this or by pushing this piston from here to here that means the gas is compressed by the volume v1 and then it slowly passes to the porous plug and undergoes expansion by pushing the piston from here to here that means it is expanded by the volume v2 then a change in temperature is observed now we see since this process is carried out adiabatically that means under insulated condition no heat exchange occurs q is equal to 0 now according to first law of thermodynamics heat exchange is equal to change in internal energy plus pressure volume work so here we consider heat absorbed is equal to change in internal energy or increase in internal energy here plus work of expansion or pressure volume work done by the gas 
this internal energy is the inherent property of the system and it is the microscopic level of energy this uh, microscopic level the kinetic energy is consisting of translational rotational and vibrational motion of the atom and subatomic particles and potential energy is consisting of attraction and repulsion between the subatomic particles and intermolecular attraction internal energy is a state function and it is the function of temperature now from this equation delta u change in internal energy is equal to q minus w now here q is equal to 0 because the process is adiabatic so delta u is equal to minus w or work of expansion is equal to minus delta u now the gas has not absorbed any heat because it is done adiabatically or under insulated condition then how come it performs this pressure volume work from where it gets the energy to perform this pressure volume work the gas utilizes its own internal energy therefore for performing this pressure volume work this internal energy decreases so when the work of expansion occurs adiabatically the internal energy and hence the temperature of the gas decreases because internal energy is a function of temperature now look at here at the left hand side chamber this piston is pushed from here to here that means the gas is compressed by volume v1 so the work done on the gaseous system is p1 v1 and right hand side chamber the gas pushed the piston and it is expanded by volume v2 okay so work done by the system is p2 v2 and work done by the system will take the negative side so net work done by the system will be this plus this that means minus p2 v2 plus p1 v1 and this is the net work done w okay here it is minus w because we have taken the sign work done by the gas is negative so this delta u which is equal to minus w from here that is is equal to minus w is equal to p1 v1 minus p2 v2 so delta u will be final state that means internal energy at final state minus internal energy at initial state so u2 minus u1 u1 is equal to minus p2 v2 plus p1 v1 sorry u2 plus p2 v2 is equal to e1 plus p1 v1 and this u plus pv it bears another characteristics property known as enthalpy so this is h2 and this is h1 so h2 is equal to h1 therefore delta h is equal to 0 that means enthalpy remains constant or adiabatic expansion is isoenthalpic now coming to joule thomson coefficient what is joule thomson coefficient joule thomson coefficient may be defined as the change in the number of degrees of temperature produced by a drop of one atmospheric pressure when the gas expands under the condition of constant enthalpy or in the simple way joule thomson coefficient mu is equal to dol t by dol p dol p at constant enthalpy that means change of temperature with respect to pressure at constant enthalpy okay now in joule thomson experiment pressure change is always negative because the gas is allowed to pass from the high pressure to low pressure area so this change of pressure is always negative so when mu will be positive when dt is positive that means change of uh, sorry dt is negative that means when the change of temperature is negative that means the gas cools on adiabatic expansion when mu is positive 
acha when the mu is negative so dp is always negative okay so mu negative means this dt must be positive that means the gas wants up on adiabatic expansion when mu is negative now when mu is equal to 0 then dt is equal to dp that means the gas neither cools nor warms up on adiabatic expansion now coming to inversion temperature what is inversion temperature at a particular pressure every gas has a definite temperature that means it is a characteristics property of every gas at which mu is equal to 0 and below this temperature mu that is joule thomson coefficient is positive and above this temperature joule thomson coefficient is negative and this temperature is called inversion temperature now for most of the gases the inversion temperature is much higher than the room temperature so when this adiabatic expansion is performed at room temperature that means the gas is kept below the inversion temperature and below the inversion temperature is mu is positive and mu positive means this dt is negative that means change in temperature is negative that for hydrogen and helium the inversion temperature is much lower than room temperature so when these gases are subjected to adiabatic expansion at room temperature that means they are kept above their inversion temperature and subjected to adiabatic expansion okay therefore these gases undergoes heating on adiabatic expansion at room temperature now coming to the answers of the other questions number 2 what is the well known experiment referred here it is joule thomson experiment number 3 under what conditions a gas gets cooled or heated up when expanded by the above process at room temperature when the room temperature is less than the inversion temperature of the gas then cooling effect is observed by the above process at room temperature if the room temperature is higher than the inversion temperature of the gas then the heating effect is observed on adiabatic expansion at room temperature now number 4 name the characteristics parameter that becomes zero when the gas attains my value that is joule thomson coefficient please send your comment and suggestions